you wonderful people out there. Today we're going to talk about double number lines and how we can use them to determine if ratios are proportional or equivalent, right? All of those words are kind of interchangeable, proportional and equivalent. So let's look at the word problem in front of us and see if we could use a double number line to solve. It says David needs to make sweet tea for his trip. To make it sweet enough, he puts three cups of sugar for every two gallons of tea. How many cups of sugar will he use if he makes eight gallons of tea? So if I kind of circle or highlight, box in these important details, I can take that original ratio, two gallons to three cups, or three cups to two gallons, and figure out how many cups I would need for that eight gallons. So let's start with cups, right? So let's make our number line. And for this number line, we're going to be counting by threes, right? Because it's three cups. So three, six, nine, 12, 15. We'll kind of stop there just in case. And then we're talking about gallons of tea. So here's gallons down here. I label it. And then let's draw my number line. And remember, it's super important to line up your dashes they need to be right under each other but for gallons we're going to talk we're going to count by twos so two four six eight and ten right the double number lines create all of these equivalent ratios so for every two gallons there's three cups for every four gallons there's six cups for every six gallons there's nine cups and for every eight gallons and this is to the answer of our question we need 12 cups of sugar, right? Ooh, lots of sugar, but nice and sweet, the way us Southerners like it. So 12 cups of sugar. So you can use double number lines when you're creating those equivalent or proportional relationships. The main thing is you really want to line up your dashes so that you know what number belongs to which like piece. That's super important. But what if it's not a word problem? What if it's just something like, is four-fifths proportional to 16 25ths? Well, let's see, those are written by fractions. So let's have this one be the four and this one be the five, right? You always take your original ratio and split it into your number lines. So for the number with the fours, I'm gonna count by four. I'll just kind of put five up there. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. And if you're not great with your facts, then obviously you can use a calculator to fill these in, and that's fine too. And for the fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So it says, is 16 25ths? Well, if I go to 25, in order to be proportional, I would have to have 20 25ths, right? If I went to the 16 in order to be proportional, I would have to have 16 twentieths. So the answer to this question is no, they are not proportional because the 16 and the 25 do not line up in the same grouping, right? Remember, that's why we line them up underneath each other. Those are the ones that belong to the one up top and bottom. So no, four-fifths is not proportional to 16 twenty-fifths because they do not line up properly. So you can use double number lines for a lot of reasons, and they can be super handy, especially when you get to those choose all options. Let me know if you have any questions. Love you. Bye.